Hello, everyone. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Hi, David. Welcome. What about the rest of the class? How are you, yo? All right, let's check those audios, please, those microphones, because no one is answering, all right? Hello, so, hello. hello, Manuel, excellent, thank you. So today is Thursday, May 11, 2023. <laughs> all right, 2023. We are officially in class 15, so welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to work with the midterm exam, but also we're going to work some content from the platform. So let's get started. Let's see. We have present continuous WH questions, okay? Yesterday we were practicing with this vocabulary. Now I want you to tell me the vocabulary. Let's start with, <clears throat> let me see. Um, let's start with Miguel. Can you please, Miguel, tell me the information about Los Angeles, Mexico City, and New York City, please. <laughs> Okay, Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's, what's Marco doing? All right, it's sorry, eight. Miguel, perdón. Es doing or doing? Doing. Perfect, continue. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting out. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Excellent, thank you so much. Let's move on to the next one. Let me have, a, let's see. Lizeth uh, Rodriguez, please tell me Brasilia, London, and Moscow. Okay. Uh, Brasilia. Uh, 9 a.m. What Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. What's Andrew doing? He's working. Right, excellent. Thank you so much, Lizeth. Very good. That's correct. Now let's move on to the following. This one we didn't practice with this one yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna do it today. Let me check. The first one, the first one that we have is Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Perm Sack doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city, what are you doing? It's, let me check, it's 8.03 p.m. So I'm in my English class. So I'm studying English. So I'm watching my English class. So I'm listening to my teacher, all right? Different things, different things that you are doing right now. So let's check. Let's review the first two only, right? Para la última, la de your city, le voy a dar tiempo, pero ahorita quiero que practiquemos lo de Bangkok y Tokyo. Let's start with, vamos a ver, Manuel Campos, please, Bangkok and Tokyo, action. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Perum stop doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo. 9 p.m. What's Haroshi doing? He's watching television. Excellent, thank you. David Rosales, please, Bangkok and Tokyo. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's person doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. That's correct, thank you. <laughs> Let me check if we're missing someone else. Okay, now let's practice with your city. 
write down on your notebook, me escribe en su cuaderno, please. What actions are you doing? If you are doing just one, it's okay. If you are doing more than one, you are doing two or three actions, write them down, please. I'm gonna give you time. Okay, I think I believe that you have finished already. So let's check this. Uh, let me ask. Um, let's just start with Lisseth. Tell me, Lisseth, what you got? What are you doing? Uh, I am having lunch. Pero qué hora son? What time is it? Uh, 12. It's, it's 12 noon. Oh, but right now it's night. Ahorita, <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> right now it's 8 past um, 8. You need to practice that, it's, all right? It's it's night p.m. Uh, I am I am having the breakfast. Okay, let's try that, <laughs> right? Because no matcha, it's night p.m. I'm having right? <laughs> Let's try to fix, fix it, please, all right? Porque ya vamos a finalizar este tema y sí me da un poquito de temor que no lo sepamos manejar todavía. Very good, Lisa. Thank you so much. Let's go with Manuel Hernández. Tell me what you got. What are you doing? It's midnight, so I am excited. All right, bye. Pero les dije que tenía que ser de acuerdo a la hora que está ahorita, all right? Y las actividades que están haciendo ahorita, all right? Because it's progressive. So let's check. Vuelva a hacer, Manuel, please. Let's go with the next one. Uh, what about Miguel? Okay. Se le apagó el micrófono, Miguel. Hola, hola. Yeah, there you are. What are you? 
8 p.m. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I am cooking. All right. Excellent. Very good. I am cooking. That's correct. Así de simple, right? Decimos la hora en que nos encontramos ahorita. Por ejemplo, exactamente ahorita son las 8. 8 ten. past 10. Right? 8 past 10. Eh, pero también 8, como usted dijo, entra en el rango, right? Y dijo, I'm cooking. So that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Mario Molina. Uh, uh, I try. Um, Lourdes, uh, 8 past 10 p.m. What are you doing? It's eating or eating. No, food? it's eight past ten. Ahí va la hora. It's eight past ten. Ah. Y donde dice so am, ahí ya pone usted la acción que está realizando. Okay. It's eight past ten. Uh, so I am. Studying. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's correct. Thank you. So I'm studying. All right. Great all job. Right. Thank you, Mr. Molina. Now let's go with another one. I see a simple, right? Do not complicate so much. Let's check. Uh, we have two other participants. Okay, Manuel Campos, action. <clears throat> um. In my city, La Libertad. A after 12. What are you doing? I'm learning English. Yes, very good, excellent. That's an activity that you're doing. Thank you, Mr. Campos. Let's go with Mr. Hernandez. Okay, okay. okay. So Salvador. 80 past 15. Is what are you doing? It's 8 past 15. I am writing in my book. Very good. Simple as that. Thank you, Manuel. That's correct. Thanks. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Uh, David Rosales. It's eight past thirty-three. I'm studying English right now. Very good, exactly. That's exactly what you're doing. And let's Thanks. listen to Kevin Alexander. Chesaltepec City, eight p.m. What are you doing? I am studying. All right, excellent. That's correct. What are you doing? I'm writing on my computer. What are you doing? I'm talking to the teacher. What are you doing? I'm presenting my activity. What are you doing? I'm sending a message, all right? We have more activities because not all of you are studying right now. Some of you are just listening, all right? Otra actividad, what are you doing? Oh, I'm listening to my classmates. Estoy escuchando a mis compañeros, all right? And uh, what are you doing? I'm thinking about what I'm going to write down. So pensando sobre qué voy a escribir, all right? Remember, we have plenty of activities that are being done at this moment. Tenemos una cantidad exact, um, bastante larga actividades que estamos realizando en este momento, okay? So that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, for your participation on this one. You got it good. So I hope with this, the topic stays a bit covered already. So let's move on to the following. We have the guidance structures for WH word and WH questions. Let me listen to uh, Manuel Hernandez, please. Can you read the structure? Within a structure, the WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb ing ing plus complement plus question mark. That's correct. Thank you. All right. Do you have this one, right, everyone? 
¿Tenemos esta estructura? Let's check, let's check. Busquemos en el cuaderno, please, si tenemos esta estructura. If not, let's copy them. Okay, you may have finished taking notes. Let's move on to the following. So let me listen to Evelyn Flores, please. Question number one and number two. Okay. What is Marcos eating right now? What are they doing? Excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Jensen, please. Number three and number four. Okay, number three. What are Michelle and Jessica drinking? What um, I'm saying? Repeat, what am I saying? Whatever. What I'm saying. Exactly, what am I saying? Very good. Okay, there you go, everyone. These are examples of how to use the structure that you saw a minute ago, all right? So keep in mind that I'm using only what, but you can use any other uh, WH word that you want, all right? How much are you staying at night? Um, why are you eating pizza at this time, all right? You can use different WH words to transmit what you want to transmit, okay? So let's check. Let's go with the practice time. Instructions. Let me listen to Kevin Alexander, please. Instruction number one and two. Number one, word individuality. Two, create two WH question in present progress. All right, I didn't get una S questions. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. All right, my okay. bad. Questions, WH questions. Okay, so let's start creating, please.
Okay, have you finished your questions? Yes, I finished. Great, excellent, David. Thank you so much for answering. Okay, so let me listen to you, David, please. The first question is, why are you running? Mm -hmm. And what are you eating for lunch? Okay, very good, excellent. Those are correct, thank you so much. Let's listen to Mario Molina, please. Okay, are you studying right now? Uh -huh. Is he dancing today? All right, bye. Si están correctas sus preguntas, Mario, solo que esas son convert to be. Esas son yes or no questions. Perdón, me equivoqué. Okay. No es que sean convert to be. Todo el presente progresivo lleva ver to be. El problemita es que esas son yes or no questions. Y esas ya las practicamos durante la semana. Right? Eh, okay. Y qué bueno que las hizo, porque está claro que sí comprendió cómo hacerlas. Pero estas son con WH. Ok, what sería what, what are you studying? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. What are you studying? Right now. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is dancing with me? <laughs> Why? Is, is she, what, Why is she dancing with me, tal vez? Okay, okay. Uh, yes. Why is she? Vamos, ver, vamos viendo la estructura, Mario. Why, la W okay. W H word, is uh -huh. el verb to be. She, el sujeto. Excelente, hasta ahí vamos bien. Dancing, correcto. ING. With me, ya sería el complemento. All right? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is she I, dancing with me? Very good. Don't worry, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. What about Lisset? Let me listen to you, Lisset. Okay. Uh, what are you drinking? Mm -hmm. What are you booked already? What are you? What are you booked ready? What book are you reading? Mm -hmm. Right? Recuerde que What? el it, este sujeto, de seguro usted lo recuerda en los subject pronouns, it equivale a un objeto, puede ser un objeto, un animal, una planta, right? Mm -hmm. Todo lo que no sea un ser humano. Puede ser un ser vivo como un animal o una planta, pero no un ser humano. Oh. Entonces, cuando usted dice what book, ahí va mm -hmm. siguiendo la estructura, right? What sería su WH word? Eh, bueno, aquí nos pide el verb to be, pero usted puso el sujeto antes, right? What mm -hmm. book are you reading? Ahí está correcto, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok. There's no problem whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Now, let's check. Let's go with the next one. Let me see. Vamos con... Evelyn Flores, please, action. Okay. What are you learning? What's um, Lisset looking? All right, very good. What are you learning and what is Lisset looking at? Siempre tiene que ponerle, cuando ocupa el looking, tiene que ponerle el at al final. All right, looking at. Very good. Okay. Let's listen to... Miguel, please. Okay. Uh, what are they talking about on the phone? <laughs> on the phone? Yeah. And what, what are doing homework. Eh, ¿Qué me quiere decir con eso en español? Eh, si estás haciendo tu tarea. Ah, vaya. Entonces, en ese caso, estar, cuando usted dice estás, recuerde que eso es verb to be directamente. Right? Ah, ok. 
Entonces sería, are you doing your homework? Are you doing homework? Ajá, exacto. Solamente que ahí, Miguel, sí está correcto. Gramaticalmente lo tiene correcto. Sin embargo, no estamos utilizando la estructura. Uh -huh. yes. okay. Podrí, podría decir, mire, Miguel, pero se escucharía algo <risa> como extraño, ¿verdad? Pregúntale esto a alguien. Pero, why are you doing your homework? ¿Por qué estás haciendo tu tarea? Right? What are you doing? Okay. Why? Why? Now, let's go with the next one. Manuel Campos, please. What is David buying yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Yesterday, Manuel, ¿le parece progresivo o le parece pasado? <laughs> pasado. Mm -hmm. What is David buying right now? Perfect. Okay. What are your parents going? Where are your parents going? Yes. Yes, it's correct. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, let's go with the next one. And what about... Okay, ya pasó Mario Molina, David. Vamos con Kevin Alexander. What are Michael and Marcos cooking? Uh -huh. What is Maria saying? Very good, excellent. Thank you, Kevin. Let me listen to Jen C. Valle. What kind of music listening, Marcos? Ah, what kind of music is Marcos listening? What kind of music is Marcos listening? Ajá, exactly. Bueno, ya la agarró. Excelente. Uh -huh. Okay. Next one. Who dancing with Karen in the party? Okay. Who is dancing with Karen at the party? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Bayan. That's correct. All right. Let's go with William. I don't know, William, if you were in here before the practice, not sure. Sorry? I'm not sure if you were in here in the class before the practice. No sé si yes. lo escuchar la instruction. Yes, I was. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Can you tell me your two examples, please? What are they cooking for dinner? Uh-huh. Um, and when is uh, Maria coming home? All right, I've been listening to a lot of Marias today. Okay, thank you, William. Now everyone, let's check the following. This is something that I got for you. Activities in present simple, okay? We have play tennis, bike a ride, perdón, bike a ride, Ay, ride a bike, Run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Okay, so let me listen to, let's start with, let's set, uh, okay, Danny, excellent. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Lizeth Rodriguez. Please tell me the vocabulary. Play tennis. Ride a bike, room, swing, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, read. study, read, uh, study, watch television. Very good, excellent. All right. Vaya, para los que de seguro recuerdan, cuando estábamos viendo. Eh, bueno, no, no fue con ustedes, ¿verdad? Right? 
pero he notado que a veces las personas cuando dicen ride a bike, me dicen read a bike. Entonces quiero que vean las dos diferencias, right? Ride es, es montar, ¿ok? Puede ser una bike, un caballo, un horse, uh, una chariot, what else? Um, a motorcycle, ride a motorcycle. Read es leer. Entonces no podemos confundir la pronunciación ni mucho menos eh, pues la manera de leerlo, ¿ok? Both words. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Manuel, no, perdón. Mario Molina, please tell me the vocabulary. Play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Perfect, thank you. All right, my dear students, we're gonna stop in here with the glass. And I'm gonna check the attendance list. Voy a primero tomarles las, la lista de asistencia. And then we are going to go to the final exam. Right, y luego vamos con el examen final. <clears throat> Just search for this. All right, so let's check. We have Beatriz Adriana, she's absent. Eh, Carlos Salvador, he's absent. Evelyn Flores. Present. Freddy Sebastián, he's absent. Jacqueline Beatriz, she's absent. Eh, David Rosales. Present. Mario Molina. I am present. Lizette Osorio. Kevin Alexander. Present. Kevin Antonio. Eh, Daniel Rivera Calderón. Present. Very good, thank you. Uh, Ernesto Garcia. He's absent. Luis Alfonso is absent. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Manuel Campos. Present. Marlene Elisef. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Sandra Beatriz. William Alexander. Present. And Jensi Asensio Valle. I'm present. Very good, excellent. Thank you, y'all. Okay, now I'm going to share with you the midterm exam. No, it's not the midterm exam, right? It's the final exam. Most of you have maybe already finished with it, and that's great. Some of you have not finished yet, so we're going to practice in here. So let me just share it with you. Okay, here we are. Read the answers, then write the questions. We are in part B because part A is only for you, okay? So it says, let me listen to David Rosales. Can you please read the instructions? To be able to work on this exercise, you need to read the answers first. Based on the answers you may type your questions, do not forget to add a question mark at the end. Okay, repeat after me, based. Based. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you, All right? So we have a, what's your name? My name is Tim. Are your parents in Peru? No, they are not in Peru, they are in Canada. 
nos vamos a fijar muchísimo en la respuesta para poder saber cuál es la pregunta. No, they are not from England, they are from Australia. Veamos. Let me ask. Teacher, yes? one, one question. Eh, yo quise hacer ese ejercicio y no me salieron para nada. Lo intenté un montón de veces. ¿Qué puso usted aquí en esta? Lo, casi el mismo ejemplo que está arriba. Eh, como ahí hace una, prácticamente está dando una respuesta y lo puse en forma de pregunta arriba. Por eso, pero ¿qué puso en forma de pregunta usted, Mario? Por lo menos ahí dice, they are not. Entonces puse, they, they are. They, they are. Eh, from England. All right, pero esa es la respuesta, Mario. No, they are from England es la respuesta. Oh, 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 bueno, are they? Are they, mm. are they England? Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, como aquí estamos queriendo averiguar, Mario, de dónde son, right? mm. entonces sería eh, lógico preguntar eso, de dónde son. Right? So, let's okay. check. Vamos a ver quién lo tiene. No quiero dar la respuesta antes. Let me listen to William. William, what do you think is the answer for that one? I think is, what are you, your parents come from? What are or where are your parents come from? Sorry, where are? <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. Let's check, let's check. Ay, no me deje escribir. It's charging. Todavía está cargando mi platform. No, is it okay, right, 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 right in the box? Yeah, right in the box. That's what I'm. I don't see the box. You're right. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Now in this one, thank you, Jensi. All right, now in this one, everyone, you don't need a WH word. Okay. So let's check. Mario, is this one the one that you were telling me? ¿Así es como usted la tenía, Mario? Había puesto they, are. Ah, ok. Are they o are they. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Let's check. Vamos a probar con esa. Let's go with number two. Evelyn, what you got for number two? Mm, where, are, where are you from? Oh, that's the answer. I have it in here. Aquí tengo la respuesta. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Kevin Alexander. What you got for number three? Three, uh, Kevin? What? 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 Years old sería, ¿cuántos años tiene? What, what is? What Pero como is? estamos preguntando por ella. What is she? What is she? No, what's... Ahí what me están she? diciendo, ¿qué es ella? What is she? ¿Qué es ella? What is she? Mm, vamos a ver. Let me listen to... Daniel Rivera, what you got? What? Sería, uh, what? Was she years old? Oh. Okay, let's check. Thank you, Donnie. All right. Uh, let's listen to Jancy. Jancy, what do you think is number three? Veamos la respuesta, dice. Call your ship. How old? Okay, yes, Jensi said. How old is she? Yes. That's correct, thank you. Please remember, all right, no es a contestar que porque yo veo el sujeto, le voy a poner el sujeto. No, y este tema lo hemos estudiado, right, since the beginning of the, of the semester. So, since the beginning of the course. So let's check, uh, how old is she? That's like kind of the correct one. 
Let's go with the next one. No, my first language isn't Spanish. It's Portuguese. ¿Qué sería lógico que estamos preguntando si la persona nos está diciendo no, my first language isn't Spanish. It's Portuguese. Let me listen to, vamos a pedirle a Miguel Galán. Is your first language is Spanish? Okay, let's check. Very good, that's correct. How do we know? ¿Cómo sabemos, teacher, qué es eso? Bueno, él está dando una respuesta directa, right? No, my first language is not Spanish. Para que él me dé una respuesta así de directa, es porque yo le estoy preguntando directamente por ese lenguaje, right? Por ese idioma. Let's listen to the following. Vamos con Manuel Campos. Yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. Esta la tengo mala, teacher. Yo okay. le puse, are you from Japanese? Vaya, pero Japanís es la nacionalidad y Japan es el país. Are you from Tokyo? Are you from Japan sería, porque si usted me dice, are ah, you from Japanese, ah, es como yeah. si usted me estuviera diciendo, ¿eres tú por japonesa? ¿Eres tú de japonesa? Right? You are right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the country is Japan, the nationality is Japanese. Okay, let's check. Uh, who else do I have? Can you intent that? Okay. Let's see, try. Japanese. Okay, let's check. Are you Japanese? Right? Let's see. Okay, number one. And number two and number five are wrong. Let's check why. Number one. What's the matter that we have in here? The question mark. We have the question mark. Separate. Separate the way the question mark because of your union, the question marks, the it's, it's system consider it as on one word. Uh -huh, that's true. That what you're saying is true. But let me check with this one. Esta es la correcta. All right. Notemos por qué. Lo que Jensi dijo sí es cierto. Si usted pone doble espacio en un punto o en un question mark, le va a tomar como que usted está agregando otra palabra y por ende va a estar malo. Pero en este caso no era correcto utilizar your, no porque en realidad sea incorrecto, sino porque estamos utilizando o contestando sí. con el subject pronoun they. Okay. Entonces, are they from England? Porque estamos hablando de ellos, ¿verdad? De los padres de esa persona. Oh, yeah, you, are you? Ajá, teníamos are you, are your. Pero lo correcto es, are they from England? Ahora veamos okay. esta porque la tenemos mala. Probem, probemos con la capital letter. Vamos a probar con la mayúscula, capital letter. Still wrong. Are you, ah, this case, are you Japanese? Are you? Yes, that's correct, okay? And this one, are you Japanese? Vean, tome en consideración esto, okay? Vieron ustedes que por una R no me permitió la plataforma que esa saliera correcta, right? Uh, uh, question, y question mark también. No, el question mark no fue el problema. Fue porque decía your y tienen que decir you. Are you Japanese? Es que ya intent había intentado también así normales. Así como hay un par que, que salieron buenas aquí, pero también las puse yo en, en, en contestar, pero no les puse los signos de interrogación. Ah. Así como el duolingo. El duolingo no me obliga a eso. Ay, <ríe> pero... no. Ay, no. No, Mario, ¿cómo no? Si está... Por eso dice... Bueno, aquí no tienen, veo que no aparece esto en español, pero sí pueden buscarlo ustedes si en dado caso hay algo que no es comprensible, right? Porque dice, eh, you need to read the answers first. De ahí dice, based on your answer, basado en su respuesta, en la respuesta que tienen aquí, you may have your question. Y, se, y tenemos que comprender que si son questions, 
tienen que llevar el signo de interrogación. Por eso parecerá mínimo, pero ustedes se habrán fijado que en todas y cada una de las estructuras de preguntas que yo les he dado, siempre les he puesto el question mark. Porque hay un problema que hay. nosotros olvidamos how to write down in Spanish even. Olvidamos a dónde van las comas, olvidamos a dónde van los puntos, all right? Los exclamation marks, los question marks. Entonces, si nos pasa en español con nuestro idioma nativo, all right, natal, que es nuestro idioma natal, Imagine in English that it's a second language acquisition. Imaginémonos en el inglés, que es una adquisición de un segundo idioma. Okay, let's go with this one. Choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Esto está bien sencillo. Let me listen to Lizeth Rodriguez. Larry isn't serious. He's... He's funny. Funny. Right. Funny. Thank you. And let's go with... Manuel Hernandez, Jean is a really good student. She's very. Mr. Hernandez. Oh, thing. Ah, perdón, smart. Okay, who said that? Jeans is a really good student. She's very smart. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Thanks. Uh, Mario Molina, my teacher isn't sure. She's... She's tall. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go with the next one. Uh, let me ask Manuel Campos. My brother is good looking. He's... He's handsome. Very good. Let's submit. That's correct, excellent. All of you got the right one. Let's go with part D. Choose the correct answer to the question. Ahora vamos con respuesta a las preguntas. Is this Sue's scarf? Veamos las opciones que tenemos. Eh, Jensi, please help me. The read or select the one option? Select the one that is correct according to okay. you. Um, no, it's not here, it's mine. All right, very right, good. Let's check, thank you. Uh, whose boots are these? Daniel Rivera. ¿De quién son estas botas? Whose boots are these? Dani a la one. Dani a la two. Sorry. Maybe they're Katis or Katis. Thank you. Very good. Are these Lisa's gloves? Uh, David Rosales. Thoughts. David. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, uh, no, it's not here. It's mine. Okay. Well, you say so. Thank you. William Castro, whose hat is this? I think it's yours. Very good. Thank you. Miguel Galán, are these Peters and Caddy's coats? No, they aren't. They, they owe. Very good. Thank you. Let's check. All right. Excellent. Thank you, y'all. Very good. Solo hay una que está mala. Number three. Yes. Are these Lisa's gloves? What would it be the correct one? ¿Cuál sería la correcta? Yes, they hear us. It hurts. Very good. Excellent. Let's check. That's correct. Thank you, Miguel. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Use the correct present continuous form of the verb. Are you wearing jeans? Gen Z, are you wearing jeans? Uh, 
Okay, maybe. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, no, I wear in sweat. Okay. Number two, thank you. Let's go with Lisette. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? Mm, no, no, he isn't wearing a tie. Okay, thank you. Evelyn Flores, are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Not. No, they are not. It's very hot. Okay, thank you. And Kevin Alexander, is it raining? Yes, it's a rain. ¿Cómo? Uh, no, it's a rain now. Mm. Oh. Let's check. Let's check. Someone who would like to give a light over here. Alguien que nos arroje luz por acá. Uh, no, no, it's not raining. It's snowing. Okay. Snowing. Yeah. Let's check. Very good. Those are correct. Thank you. Great job. Awesome. Now let's go with the next one, which is the last one. So, okay, this one is also uh, about looking the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch, all right? Entonces, vamos a ver los relojes y vamos a ver qué horas, okay? What time is it? It's 20 after two, it's 2.20, right? Vamos con... Eh, William Castro, number two, what time is it? It's 10 to 7. Mm -hmm. ¿Y la otra? Porque son dos. Ah, okay. Um, um, <laughs> oh, sorry, it's 6.50. <laughs> It says 50. All right, very good. Thank you. And let's check. Dani Rivera. Rivera, it is, right? Yes, there you are. Okay, number three. What time is it? Um, it's 9 uh, 45. It's 9.45? Ah, yes, 8. 8, sorry. 8.45. Okay, yeah. ¿cómo sería la otra? Sorry. sorry, I never learned to read those clocks. In, don't worry, don't worry. In my house, we only use digital clock. clock. Digital ones. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, tell me the other one. Vaya, esa es una manera de decirlo, Dani. ¿Y la otra cuál sería? ¿Quién ayuda, Dani? It's quarter to nine. Exactly. It's a quarter to nine. Right? Okay, my dear students, and the last one, because we're just about to finish. Miguel, tell me, what time is it? It's five past 11. It's five past 11, and what else? It's 11 or five. Very good. Thank you. Let's submit. Very good job, y'all. Excellent job. Congratulations. Very good. I hope all of you got the answers right. And that's pretty much it for today's class. Thank you so much for coming and I'll see you tomorrow. Recuerden que mañana tenemos clase. Y he visto que algunos me les ha fallado mucho el progressive y el verb to be. Así que vamos a hacer un review de eso. Por nada del mundo se pierda en esa clase, right? So I'll see teacher, you tomorrow. Teacher, teacher, antes, antes de que se vaya, teacher. Sorry, Mario, tell me. Eh, después de ese ejercicio hay una que solo es de escuchar entonces hay unas respuestas que de veras están bien difíciles okay, entonces let me know in the... no sé si para mañana podemos yes, ver algo we can do it. 
Okay. Okay, Mario, let you go because I really need to go to the other course. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Take care. Take care. Good night. Bye, good evening. Bye, teacher.